Good morning, Crossroads International Church. How are you today? Okay, well, we'll try it again. Good morning, CIC. How are you today? Excellent, excellent. Well, it is a delight today. There, I believe there's going to be 14 uh, individuals baptized today. So praise God. We have been talking about this since actually September or October and about how we identify with Jesus in his death and we have the hope of the resurrection and eternal life by identifying with Jesus. Let me read a passage. Since we have been united with him in his death, we will also be raised to life as he was. We know that our old sinful selves were crucified with Christ so that sin might lose its power in our lives. We are no longer slaves to sin. For when we died with Christ, we were set free from the power of sin. And since we died with Christ, we know that we will also live with him. We are sure of this because Christ was raised from the dead and he will never die again. Death no longer has any power over him or us who believe. Hallelujah. Well, let's open and pray and we'll get started. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this wonderful day. Oh, Lord, this day when we celebrate what you have done in people's lives. And we, Lord, we're going to worship you. There's going to be preaching and your word is going to go down deep into our hearts. Lord, we thank you for this wonderful day of celebration and of learning and of worship. Heavenly Father, I just pray you open up our hearts to receive and to give and to hear your, what your spirit is saying. And now, Heavenly Father, we just ask your blessing on everything that, that transpires. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, our very first candidate is Samuel Keitch. If you could come on in. It's warm? Okay. <laughs> Sam, why don't you uh, tell everybody what God's been doing in your life? Hello, my name is Sam. Um, past couple of years, 20 years of my life have been a struggle. I am an addict and an alcoholic, and I am proud to say that. Um, God has been all, touched through my life the whole 20 years of me doing what I was doing. Um, Pastor Andrew was also a big part of that. Um, there is, I'll just share this real quick. Um, I had an overdose a couple of years ago. It was a very bad overdose. Um, I woke up to two people standing by my side. One was my sister and the other was Pastor Andrew. Um, and through that whole time, Pastor Andrew was always there, uh, contact with me when I went to rehab. Um, and then I would lose connection with Pastor Andrew and get back into my old ways. Um, well, I, two years ago, I lost a good friend to an overdose. Um, it was hard for me. Uh, I came back to Rhode Island, and I got myself into more addiction than ever before. I got myself arrested. Uh, the only person that was always there was my mom. No matter how many times I was in trouble, she was always there to bail me out. Uh, but this past year, I have uh, decided, well, last year, I decided to get myself into the AA program. Um, it's been a struggle. It's been a, a blessing. Um, but AA has brought me back to real life and to my higher power, which I call God. Um, so that's why the week that pastor said about the baptism, I was actually at work um, and I thought about it and I'm like, you know what, Sam, you've never been baptized mm. while, while trying to be sober. And uh, you know, the power is in the water. So, you know, that's all I got, but thank you. <laughs> In light of that, Sam, I want to reread this, this one little por por portion. Since we have been united with him in his death, we know that our old sinful selves were crucified with Christ so that sin might lose its power in our lives. Hallelujah. You don't have to live there anymore. That addiction is broken in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, let's pray a blessing over Samuel and, uh, you know, just pray that, that God's power and you're among friends here. 
This is a community of faith. And if you find a perfect person here, let me know. You know, we'll, we'll do something special, give them a trophy or something. But, you know, we're a community of faith, and we support each other. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for, for Sam's honesty. Lord, we thank you for the faith he has in you. Heavenly Father, we have talked a lot about identifying with you and your death. Lord, we pray that as Sam does this outward symbol, this visible symbol. Lord, it's not about getting wet. It's about standing before others and saying, I am going to die with Jesus. Lord, as he dies to himself, as he dies along with Jesus, Lord, I pray that he also comes up out of the water made new, completely new. Those old habits, those old patterns of thinking, those old routines, they die with him. And he is raised in new life and that you fill you fill his life with wonderful and good and promising things. May he accomplish the purpose and plans for which you created him. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Put your face that way. Grab your nose with your right hand. Yep. And right here with your left. Oh. oh yeah. Grab right All right. Okay. Oh, right. Let's do this. <laughs> Samuel Keitch. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I baptize you in the name of the... Uh, well, wait a minute. Excuse, I said that wrong. See? <laughs> There really are no perfect people there. So, upon your profession of faith, Samuel, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Victoria Brown. See, Annie, can you grab that green mic? Her mother's going to pray for her here. Victoria, what has uh, brought you to this point? What is God doing in your life? Um, he helps my mom with struggles, and he helps me get through school. And, well, sorry. No, no, you're doing fine here. Let me turn that down. There you go. Um, he just helps me and my family. And you're trusting him for your salvation, right? Yes. Amen. Amen. And mom is going to pray. Where's Amelia? Where's the, um, right here? Come on down. Let's pray. Or, Good morning. Want to say anything, mom? I'll just pray. <laughs> okay, you pray. Jesus, Jesus. Dear Lord. My heart is filled with joy for the decision that Victoria has taken today. Oh, I'm so happy. Father God, you have brought us a long way, a long, long way. Thank you, Lord Jesus. God, thank you. Thank you for your many days of blessing. You have never turned your back on us. You never let me down. When I feel disappointed and stressed because of Victoria's school friends, I cried many days. God, you never let me down. God, I'm so grateful. May your protection and guidance continue to be upon her life. Yes. May your angels walk side by side with her. May she grow in your word, Lord. May she talk, speak, and walk in your word, Lord. Mm -hmm. May she be a great example to her friends, her cousins. Father God, no, this is just the beginning. I just want to tell you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. I have nothing to say but to just glorify your name. Mm -hmm. In your name I pray. Amen. 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 Victoria Brown, upon your profession of faith, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Sean Nyman. 
He's got his cheering session up here. Careful, it's slippery. Sean, what has God been doing in your life? Um, so, I don't even know what to say, I'm nervous. It's just us. So, God has never let my family down, and um, every time we're in distress or worried, we always turn to Him and He'll help us. And um, He's gotten all of us through um, any tough time that we've ever had, and uh, whenever we need Him, He's always there for us to help us back up on our feet. And Amen. He's just the most important thing in our life that we and, could. And you're trusting him for your salvation. Yes. You know, that's the thing, guys. You trust him for, uh, you know, daily needs. We trust him for eternity. He is trustworthy. Amen. Okay, why don't you turn face that way, grab your nose. With your, oh, I got to pray. I get to pray over. I always forget to pray. <laughs> Heavenly Father, I thank you for Sean. Lord, it's been a delight to see him grow. And Lord, there are many bumps in life's roads. But Lord, you somehow work all those scars into trophies. Heavenly Father, you, you make us into men and women of God as a result of stretching our faith. And Lord, I thank you for how, how his, Sean's faith has been stretched but not broken. In fact, it's like a muscle and even stronger now than it was earlier years. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Lord, now he identifies with your death and with your resurrection. Lord, may that new life that he's going to be walking in, Lord, may it be seen by all. May, may Sean become an attractional Christian. May, may, may many people ask him for the hope and joy that he has. Oh, Heavenly Father, may, may he, he live in community and, and may the love of Jesus be seen in him. Put gifts of the Holy Spirit upon him and make him into a mighty man of God, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, now. Sean Nyman, upon your profession of faith, I joyfully baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And Witty Myrthal. been a delight to see Witty grow over the years, and uh, so Witty, what has God done in your life? He does so much, and uh, I'm seeing like a lot of miracles in my life. I came a long way. Um, when I accept him in, him in my life, I see like things that, you know, if you would like explain to somebody, they won't believe it, like, you know. Um, he did a lot of blessing in my life, and then I went through a battle in the past, and I went through it with him alone, you know, just having faith. Yeah. And so. you're trusting him now. And I'm trusting him, yeah, completely. Very good. Well, again, it, one of the most precious things I get to do is pray individually for people, and uh, so I'm going to pray for Witty at this point. Heavenly Father, I thank you for what you've been doing in Witty's life. Lord, a, uh, you've blessed her with children, and Lord, just a few weeks ago we prayed a blessing over the children, but Lord, we now thank you for Witty herself. Lord, you do guide our steps. Heavenly Father, and I thank you for bringing Witty to this point. Lord, I pray that the, today be, be like a memorial stone that is planted in the ground of her life, that she remembers this moment where she genuinely began to live as a believer. That old life is gone, and the hope and new life is being lived in from this moment on. Heavenly Father, I pray blessing upon blessing. Heavenly Father, it is a challenge to live as a believer these days. So I pray that you, you fill her with the Spirit, give her, give her joy, give her peace, give her hope. And Lord, uh, I pray that you just bless the work of her hands. And Heavenly Father, just let your Spirit be seen by all in her. Lord, just... When they look at her, may they see Jesus. And Heavenly Father, bless her entire family. And Lord, we thank you for the new life. 
We celebrate that new life, the old being gone and the new coming. In Jesus' name, amen. Witty Myrtle, upon your profession of faith, I joyfully baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. going to be colder than it was. <laughs> so up next is actually Witty's daughter, Liani. So if you want to come down. It's pretty tall in here. <laughs> We're going to just bend this down a little bit. Okay. So can have you stand right over here. It doesn't get deeper, I promise. <laughs> can you guys see her? Oh, good. So this is Liani, and she has chosen to follow Jesus today and get baptized. So do you want to tell them why you chose to get baptized today? No? Okay. That's okay. But she has chosen to follow Jesus, and you love Jesus, right? And you want to get baptized today because... In his word, he asks us to get baptized to show people, have an outward sign that we follow Jesus. And you're going to follow Jesus for the rest of your life, right? So her mom is actually going to pray for her. So can we give her a thank you, Amy? Yeah, we can do that. So you can stand right over here. All right. Ready, baby? I pray for my daughter that she will follow Jesus throughout her whole life and that she will have strong faith and that she will grow into his love with the Holy Spirit in her and that she will grow up to be a godly woman and that she will follow the path that Jesus want her to go to and that she will grow into God hands with love, full of joy and happiness throughout her whole life. Mm -hmm. And may the Holy Spirit be with her each and every day in her life and to remember that Jesus died on the cross for her. In the name of Jesus, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, I pray. Amen. 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 Okay, Leon, so I'm going to have you face this way. All right, so you're going to put your nose. Yep, her, she knows. She knows what she's doing. All right, and then you're going to hold your wrist right here. Put your other hand up to you. Perfect. So upon the confession of Leonie's faith, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. thought I was the last one and I'm not. So we are really blessed to have a lot of pastors, you know, baptizing a lot of people. It's a blessing to coordinate all this. So we just had two of this family being baptized. Now we're going to bring up dad and husband, Amando, to be baptized. It's a huge blessing, by the way. If you haven't met this family, they sit up here, come up and hang out with them and you'll really... Really be blessed. They're they're awesome. It's not that bad. Yeah, we try to keep it warm for you. Anything you'd like to say about why we're in this water together? Well, I gotta say God is good, first of all. And the position that I'm in right now today, I did this willingly because my life has changed dramatically in the past years in my life. I went I lived in Puerto Rico growing up, it's a rough neighborhood. To then come into the United States and learn in English with um not really much, and then making it, and then having a beautiful family after, like, I met this woman, she changed my life, she put me on the right path, 
She reads the Bible with me. She tries to get me here every time or every Sunday. She tries to get me in here. She does everything to make sure that I'm on the right path and I, I accept Jesus in my life. Father, I thank you for this family. I thank you, Lord, for the way you have rooted them into our main roots, God, that you have blessed us, Lord, with their presence, that you have uh, just a plan of potential for each life, God, every child, God, that's represented by this man, God, and this woman. And I thank you, Lord, that he stands now as the man of the house doing the same thing that you asked him to do, to be obedient, to be baptized in the faith of, and publicly confess in front of all these great people in this, in this family, God. Just bless them today. In your name we ask this. Amen. Amen. By the profession of your faith, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We're now going to have one. Juan Hoya. Juan is really faithful. He hangs out with the men. He hangs out with me on Wednesday, and he has a, he's got a huge heart. Yeah, yeah well, um, I'm just so happy to be here. Yeah, to follow Jesus, that's why it counts. It's the most important thing to be a follower of him, of him and identify with him. And he's, the Lord's been good. The Lord's been good. He, at times, my faith was low. I wasn't devout. I wasn't always seeking Jesus. Let's say I wasn't, like, steadfast with him. But he's everything. He's the Lord. And I trust him for everything. He, he, he's able. He is able. He, he, do, he does the impossible, so just put your faith in him and always trust him. Follow him. Identify with him and just, uh, I can't be, you know, I can't do nothing without him. I can't, I can't do nothing without him. Yeah. Thank you. Amen. And Juan, is, Juan hangs out on Monday nights with these uh, great group of guys, and he's asked Pastor uh, David Jackson to pray for him before he's baptized. Okay. Heavenly Father, we come before you in thanksgiving for what you have been doing in this man's life. We thank you, Lord, that you've got, your grace has been so wonderfully poured out that he's decided to live for you victoriously. And I thank you, Lord, that the work that you begun, you're going to continue. Because you said in your word that you always bring to completion that which you begin. And so, Father, we just thank you that the work has begun and it's going to go on and on and on. You're going to bless him. You're going to use him. You're going to cause him to be used of you in a very special way. We don't know what it is, what it is, but you know, Lord. And I just pray that you just keep him close to you. I pray that as he goes through the various difficulties in life that may encounter, that you'll give him that supernatural grace to stand strong, to believe that your promises are yes, yes, and amen in Christ Jesus. So, Lord, we just say thank you. We, we just believe that your blessings are going to be upon his life, that you're going to use him to the fullest for your glory. We ask all of this now in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. amen. We now have Maria DuPont. You need to pray for wine. He forgot his uh, change of clothes. So isn't that great? You get baptized in your real clothes? I think it is. I think that's more realistic. 
Sorry. This is Maria Dupont, another awesome woman that we have attending here. And uh, anything you'd like to say before we baptize you? I don't know. I've always believed in God and the Holy Spirit. And all my trials and tribulations, he's always been there for me. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Thank you. We're going to pray for you, and then we're going to baptize you. Father, I thank you for Maria. I thank you for her sweet spirit. I thank you, God, that you have called her to this place and this day, God. But you're going to do mighty exploits through her, God. She may be small in stature, God, but you see her as a giant, God. I ask you to bless her today and help this to be not, not a beginning, God, but a next phase in that chapter of her life. Just bless her, I pray. In your name we ask this. Amen. Amen. Oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> Maria, by the profession of your faith, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We've had one family, now we're going to go to another family. This is the Mello family. We're going to start with Haley. <laughs> it's awesome when you watch a whole family over years and how they come, come through different chapters of life, and it's exciting to see Haley in here this morning. Um, it's just been a long, rough journey with a whole horrible life of drugs and alcohol. But my kids brought me through it. And if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here. All right, let's pray for you folks. Haley, I, I just thank you, Lord, that you were, thank the Lord that you, that it is a journey and all of us are are different and i love that you you connected her mind with her heart god and you have delivered her i ask you lord that you would deliver her to the uttermost lord that she is like we talked about and pray for samara you would deliver her to the fullest god that she would continue to be an inspiration to her children who she's given them credit but i give her credit lord for raising a wonderful and blessed children god i ask you to bless her today and her children god as they get baptized together and just bless her, I pray. In your name we ask this. Amen. There we go. Haley, by the profession of your faith, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now we're going to have Caddy come forward. You're fine. You're fine. Just not yet. No, just sort of sit over there for me. That'll be fine. Anything you'd like to say this morning? Okay. So, so I've known, I've known, I've watched her grow up. I can assure you, she is a a great believer in Jesus Christ, and I'm excited. I'm so excited to be baptizing her this morning. Yeah, you know, and let's pray for you. Thank you, God, for this family, God. I thank you for, God, Lord, I thank you, Lord, that you have grown her into the young woman she is. I thank you, Lord, that there is a plan to prosper her and not do her harm, a plan to just do mighty things through her, God. I ask you, Lord, to help remind her who she is and who she's meant to be and never to stray from it, God, I pray. In your name we ask this. Amen. Caddy, by the profession of your faith, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And now I'm going to bring up Witty. I'm sorry, Winnie, sorry. We're going a little out of order. And you can bring Sally with you, that'd be awesome. You go next, okay? Stand, stand with Miss Deborah first, and then I will. Like her sister before her, this is Winnie. And, and anything you'd like to talk about before we baptize you? Um, yes. Um, I realized that um, over the years, um, I had a lot of testimony, and Jesus is the way, the truth of life and happiness. Okay. 
Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this family. I thank you for Winnie and Sally. I thank you for all their children, God, as we prayed just three weeks ago, standing almost in the same place, God, that we thank you for her. We thank you for her, her leading and guiding her children. We thank you, Lord, that she has assumed the mantle of being the spiritual head of our, her household. I ask God you continue to use her. I ask you to provide for her and just bless her today and help her just to just be a just skyrocket out of this tank to super, super things, God, that she's going to do with her life. In your mighty name we ask this. Amen. <laughs> there we go. When you by the profession of your faith, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Earlier, you saw Lonnie, Lonnie, and this is Sally, this is her cousin. And anything you want to say before you get baptized? I want to get baptized because Jesus is my Lord and Savior. And I want to give my life to Jesus because I love Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Would you like to pray for her? Would you like to pray, Would you like to pray for your daughter? Okay, oh, I'll pray. All right. Father, we thank you for Sally. I thank you, Lord, for her amazing stature, even at this height, God. The things that I've seen her, I've seen fruit in her life, God. I ask you to bless her from this baptism tank. I ask you to help her to be equipped to do what you're calling her to do, the thing that you intend her to do, God. To just do great things, God. Just bless her today, I pray. In your name we ask this. Amen. Sally, by the profession of your faith, in your own words, God, I thank you, Lord, for that. I ask, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And now we're going to have uh, Darlene De Castro come up and finish the Mello family. Okay, it is a little cool. <laughs> All right, Aaliyah, come on down, honey. This is Aaliyah Mello. And um, if you don't know this story, they've been through a lot. And God has done amazing things in her. And so I'm honored today to be able to do this. <laughs> it is cold, isn't it? <laughs> Aaliyah, you love the Lord, don't you? And you want to follow him all the rest of your life. Let's pray. Father, thank you so much for Leah. Lord, you have a special purpose and a plan for her life. Father, and you are going to complete it. Father, because you love her so much. And I ask for uh, protection, divine protection around her as she goes through her teen years and young adult years, that you would continue to be her fire, to be her rock, Lord, that she would continue to face uh, challenges with you by her side and know that you are there with her. We just thank you and love you. We thank you for this day in your name. Amen. Okay. okay. Aaliyah, upon your confession of faith, I baptize you now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And now it's Tyreek. Come on down, buddy. Tyreek is my little buddy. I've watched him from infancy, growing up, and uh, what a blessing.
<laughs> Just like a swimming pool, right? <laughs> this is Tyreek Mello. Tyreek, you love the Lord, don't you? Yeah. And you want to follow him all the rest of your days? And he's done amazing things in you, hasn't he? Yes. All right. Let's pray. Lord, thank you so much for Tyreek, Lord. Father, again, you have a special call on his life, Lord. You are going to raise him to be a mighty man of God. Lord, that he will be a beacon uh, just in his community, in his school, directing people to you, Lord. I thank you for the protection you're going to put upon his life as he continues to grow in your ways. We love you and we thank you for this day. In your name, amen. All right, so walk your nose. Are you ready? Tyreek Mello, upon the confession of your faith, I baptize you now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Just a little details here. Uh, moms and dads will have the children go down after worship today because Pastor Anna needs to get dried off and set up for Children's Church. But we'll dismiss the children in just a few minutes. Why don't you take a few minutes, greet your neighbor, get to know their name. We have to set the platform up here.